Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, cause the gel hair, don't gas the ball, but built for theme parks. Yes, we're back. And I'm sorry, it's been a long time, it's been a couple of days now since a new video. I've just been so busy with work, I'm having to really fit my schedule around that now. And, you know, I'm going to be straight back here, bigger and better than ever, each and every time. So please bear with me, keep subscribing to the channel, keep doing all that good stuff. This theme park news update, though is based on Port Aventura World and the potential 2023 investment. Now this has come from a number of sources and we're gonna be sharing uh, one of those sources statements about this in this video and talk about my thoughts on this and what the rumors are from the forums, etc. So before we get started guys, please like the video if you loved it, but not, please also go to the comment section, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, like the video, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We're on the road to 2,600 subscribers as soon as possible. We'll get to 2,700 and so forth. I really believe in this channel. Also, we can get as closer as we can to 1 million total views, which is unbelievable for a theme park news and interviews channel. Also, check the description down below for social media links and also the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, let's have a look at exactly what's been said about Port of Ventura World's 2023 Brute for rumored investment. So this post is from Reddit, and I want to share exactly what it says word for word. The IAPA Europe Expo 2021 kicked off in Barcelona today. A handful of theme and water parks have been playing host, and all's been going well. It's in the itinerary of the Port Ventura director David Garcia will hold a presentation on that Thursday. Now, now remember, remember this Reddit statement was posted uh, on the Coaster Force forum back on Tuesday uh, this week. Uh, so it was yesterday uh, that the presentation took place um, on the park's future plans, which, if rumors are to be followed, are naturally quite interesting. Uh, it was confirmed in an interview a while ago they were planning a brand new attraction for 2023 could slash would either be a coaster or a dart ride, depending on what their audience felt they need to cater to. I'm not sure if a formal decision has been made yet, and there's been whispers of an intermin floating around on Port Aventura forums for a while now. A few new key pieces of information have come to light. Earlier in the month, walls went up around a sizable chunk of parking lot adjacent to Red Force. An eagle-eyed user of the park forums noticed that a recently updated re-upload of the Hot Racer promotional video shows a change in the path surface to match that of Ferrari Land. In brackets, only a very dedicated enthusiast would notice something minor like this and take it seriously. <laughs> uh, Intimate officials were also at Port of Ventura yesterday, although I'm going to rule this one out given the ongoing expo. So what's it going to be? We're going to get something at Port of Ventura in 2023. I know that there are a few other projects in the works, but it's very possible we'll get some kind of indication on that Thursday as to what the 2023 attraction might be. How likely do we believe that, in, that Port Ventura, Ferrari Land, technically will get the first intimate hot racer north of the equator based on this info? Should be interesting from that Reddit post alone. Now another indication about the 2023 project is also not holding our breath about Ferrari Land because in a new interview, the next attraction will be part of the current La Liga partnership. Now, this is an article from Invertia, which is an Espanol-based uh, source of information. And uh, going through the article then, it reads as follows. The Leisure Park has signed an alliance run with Renfe and Vages El Conte Ingles and is preparing a new attraction for, for 2023. Uh, now, in terms of the attraction itself, uh, this is what the article had to say. Tanned for 20 years in the airline sector, more specifically in the low-cost sector through companies such as Vueling on the Air France KLM Group, David Garcia became general manager of Port Aventura World two years ago. It arrived after a 2019 record for the leisure complex and ran into the pandemic, restrictions and falling revenues. A tough year for which he already foresees full recovery next year. He says we would expect 100% recovery in 20. 22, the budget that we are making for that year is to be at the same level of a beta and income of 2019, he said in an interview to El Español Invertia. 
Now he says, we're talking about the year before the pandemic in which Pulp Ventura reached a figure of 5.2 million visitors, a historical profit of 46.9 million euros, and a beta of 103 million, and a turnover of 241 million euros. With all of them, he broke his own records, and that is where he's intended to return. We expect a recovery, especially in international markets, he says, among which the arrival of British and Russian tourists expected third and fourth market by importance for the part respectively. All this very complicated months. In 2020, the record loss of 43 million euros and a negative abita of 7 million due to the pandemic and the closure of the park for many months. Now, obviously you want to know what the article has said about the project. Although nothing has been signed yet, um, the new low-cost operator, Oigo, has made an offer to work in 2022 and they're evaluating the offer. Now, obviously there is the plans of the La Liga, the agreement of La Liga, whose investment amounts to 140 million euros, and the alliance is divided into three phases. The first, the launch of a restaurant thing with the Spanish League within the resort itself, a shop and a digital experience, a game in the form of an application, all will see the light in December of this year. The second phase, according to the article, will include the design and development of a new themed attraction for the soccer competition, which will not arrive before 2023. And the third is the creation of a La Liga theme park within the Port of Ventura world. So that will probably be a, a third gate theme park. Uh, of course, their most immediate present is the Halloween campaign. Of course, you've got all the information around that. Uh, the Halloween season discounts for 20% off the Leisure Park business, owned by 51% by Invest in Durastrial and 49% KKR. And they hope to achieve the same income as in 2019 from the Halloween campaign. Uh, so obviously the Invertia article mentions a soccer themed attraction for 2023 Now we don't know whether this is coinciding with the rumors from the reddit post as of the IAPA Expo uh, About a attraction for 2023 in the Ferrari land section of the theme park But we'll certainly see more when it gets revealed there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking about the 2023 plans. Is it the La Liga agreement? Is it for Ferrari Land? We'll have to see. Now, I'm not too exactly sure where the uh, walls are going up. So if anyone wants to message me a Google map image, use my Instagram, use my Twitter, DM me, and I'll get um, I'll try and get another video done about it, sort of talking about potential um, ways they could do the layout of whatever this is going to be, whether it's a dark ride or a coaster. Uh, but this is very interesting indeed. Um, obviously, you know, obviously the rumour, the whispers of Intamin being around, um, you know, and the Intamin Hot Racer rumour as well. Of course, the Intamin Hot Racer is a, a newer concept of roller coaster. This is Intamin's take on the single rail concept by Rocky Mountain Construction, aka RMC. And it's very interesting to see this all being developed. It's very interesting to see this all being, um, you know, devised in the park. And I think that, again, this could be a wonderful um, introduction to the Intamin Hot Racers and those that, that concept north of the equator. And I think Bonaventura, with the way they stylize the parks, the way they landscape the parks, the way it's all mapped out, and the way the theming level works sometimes as well, I think the Port of Ventura could do this up really, really well. Now, like I said, there is that crossroads of is this for Ferrari Land in 2023 or is this for the La Liga agreement? Is this the soccer themed attraction for 2023? And I think the answer is simple, really. Why not it be both? Why not have the La Liga themed attraction for what for one park, for the Port of Ventura Park, and then have the coaster for 2023 in Ferrari land and have the soccer themed attraction as something else. That for me would be the sizable scenario here because you've got Invertia saying um, it's a soccer themed attraction for 2023 with the La Liga agreement. On the other hand, you've got other sources like the Expo in Barcelona and all the sources and rumours pointing to uh, Intamin and Port Ventura working together on a Ferrari land uh, edition coaster or dart ride uh, adjacent to Red Force on the old parking lot spot. Again, it, it still opens. It still opened up to a lot of questions, and we've got we've got a few answers, but not a lot of not a lot of answers to the questions we're getting from this. 
So I think it's something we're just going to have to watch out for, see what happens, and take it from there. But the fact that 2023 is earmarked an exciting year for Puerto Ventura Resort in terms of a brand new attraction, maybe more than one attraction, I personally think this could be a wonderful uh, year for the park indeed. So there we go guys, thank you very very much for watching this theme park newsroom update discussing Puerto Ventura's 2023 room and attraction. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and for now my name is Coach Chell, keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys, have a Puerto Ventura-tastic day. Let the music play.